In Western Australia, the National Construction Code 2022 changes are being adopted, but with a longer phasing period than other states. So for the three major reforms for NCC 2022, the energy efficiency changes we adopted as a mandatory requirement from 1 May 2025. So the seven star whole of home requirements from 1 May 2025. But that doesn't mean that if you choose to you choose right now, you can apply these requirements and apply seven star if you choose to, if your clients are seeking those inclusions, you can do that, but from it's a mandatory requirement from 1 May 2025 to meet those new higher energy efficiency standards. Mandatory from that date through the next two year period, it's a choice whether you, whether you want to do six star or comply with the new seven star requirements. This is an open conversation you might want to have with your clients as they're going through the build process. In terms of the livable housing changes, the Western Australian government has determined that they will be not, not be adopting the changes at this time and will give further consideration to this under future versions of the code. Lastly, in terms of the condensation management changes, the Western Australian Government is also adopting these changes and these will also be adopted from 1 May 2025. The other key message I want to say for Western Australia is that the code presently, you have a choice in Western Australia for the NCC broadly. So you can either currently use National Construction Code 2019 Amendment 1 up to 1 May 2025 or you can apply NCC 2022 itself. So the Western Australian Government has provided an option through these next two year period about which version of the code broadly you can use. But in saying this, I would give a word of warning about doing some sort of hybrid option. My opinion would be if you're going to apply NCC 2019 Amendment 1, you apply that. Or you apply NCC 2022 rather than some version of a, of a hybrid. Because that can create a lot of confusion and potentially for your documentation and things like that, it becomes more complicated. There may be some benefit though of some aspects of NCC 2022, some of the real positive reforms that give greater clarity to certain aspects of the code. So just having careful consideration about if you are to use a bit of a hybrid approach.